Have you ever wanted to keep an eye on your home while you were gone or see who's at the door without actually having to go to it? Well, today I've got a review for you. I'm doing the Argus 2 by Reolink. It's a wireless security cam that you can pretty much put anywhere, indoors or outdoors. All right, so like I said, you can pretty much put this wireless camera anywhere. It runs on battery. So as long as you can mount it on the wall, you can put it there. And it has a pretty good distance because it uses your Wi-Fi. This makes it easy to keep an eye on different areas of your home. And you can also use it inside if you want to keep an eye on your pets or something like that inside your house. So once you pick up the Argus 2, what you're going to get in the box is the camera itself, obviously. You're going to get a couple different stands, one magnetic one and one stand like this, where it's using the quarter inch adapter at the bottom of the camera. You're also going to get the charging cord and the battery, or if you buy the solar panel pack, you'll get the solar panel, and you'll get a bunch of other accessories to help you with your security camera. Now the camera itself is made of mostly plastic with some metal. Obviously the insides, the internals have a lot more metal than the outsides because the outsides are covered in plastic. It comes with infrared lights and an HD camera. And the two different mounts are plastic and metal also. So like I said earlier, one of them's magnetic. So all you have to do is bring the camera near the magnetic mount and it'll pull it in and it'll hold it tight. The camera itself has an SD card slot on the side. It's a micro SD card so that you can record different footage. So when it detects motion, it can save it onto a local SD card. You also have the charging slot on the battery. So you don't actually have to take the camera down. You can take the battery down and you can charge it via the USB cord. On the front, there's a speaker and a microphone so you can do two-way audio with the security camera. So the field of view on the security camera is 130 degrees. So you get a nice wide view so you can see a lot of your surroundings wherever you place the security camera. So it also comes with an IP65 rating, so it's dust proof and it's water resistant. To help with the weather resistance, it does come with a weather sleeve that you can slide onto it and attach to your camera. So once you get the product, you're gonna wanna charge it because it's not fully charged. Now, the first time you charge it, you probably won't need the full amount of time, but I would still give it. It takes four to five hours to fully charge the battery to 100%. The battery is rated for 180 days on standby. So if you're not checking in, if you're not getting a lot of motion detection, it's 180 days of battery life. Now, it also says that if you're using it all the time, if you're doing constant recording, then it's gonna only last you around 15 days. What I've found since I got it, it's lasted me at least 30 days. It's still going, so I can't tell you exactly when it's gonna run out. But so far, I'm pretty happy with the battery life. If I only have to charge it every one and a half months to two months, then that's fine with me. So like I said earlier, you could pick up the solar pack and you won't ever have to charge it because the little solar panel sits right next to the security cam mounted on the wall and it will recharge it each day. So the setup for this guy was really easy. After I got it charged, all I had to do was power it on and then it talked me through all the things I needed to do along with the app. So if you have the app open and you have the camera going, it will talk you through everything you need to do to get it connected to your Wi-Fi and set it up. And just for a note, you can't use it on the five gigahertz Wi-Fi. You have to do it on the 2.4. After setting it up, there are some settings inside the app that you may wanna change. So take a look around in there and set it up the way you'd like it to be. And the great thing about it is after you get it all set up and you throw it onto the mount, either the screw mount or the magnetic hold mount, you can adjust it so that it's looking at exactly what you want it to look at. Especially with the magnetic mount, it makes it really easy to move it around and twist it and get it to point exactly where you want it to. Now this camera does work over the cellular network. So that means if you're away from home, you can still check in, and you can still use the camera. If you have any troubles with that, just make sure you contact support and they'll fix it right up. And one of the other things about the settings is you can create scenes. So if you wanna control multiple cameras with one click, you can set it up that way. Just hop onto the app and go through those scene settings and set it up how you'd like. And another thing about this camera is it works with Google Home. So if you wanna control it via Google Home, you can go through the settings and you can set that up also. It does do two-way audio because it has a built-in speaker and microphone into the security camera. One of the things I noticed with the two-way audio is when you speak into the app, it takes about two or three seconds before it actually spits it out of the security camera. Go ahead and leave the package on the floor. So if you're in a hurry to say something to someone before they walk away, you're probably not gonna get it. There's been a few times I've missed it because the two to three second delay and the person was too far away. On the other end, the recording audio actually comes through really well. I'll go ahead and play a sample for you right now. This is a mic sample test for the Reolink Argus 2. 
As you can tell, it does a really good job recording the audio from the outside. You can hear the person speaking at a normal speaking level, no problem. All right, so let's talk about the recording here. So it does record in full HD, so that's 1080p. Now, if you want, you can change the settings so that it could be in lower resolution. This will help with your bandwidth. If you don't have a very high bandwidth in your home, it'll definitely help your video come through a little bit more smooth. So if you're looking at the app, you have an option to switch it between clear and fluent. Those are the two words that they use for 720p and 1080p. But like I said earlier, you could go into the settings and instead of being 720, you can lower it down even lower, especially if your internet's running really slow. Now, obviously, if you change those settings, your clarity is not gonna be as good. When you're looking at the app, you can look at it a few different ways. You could have a quad camera view. So if you have four cameras set up, you can see them all on the screen or you can go to one individual camera by itself. And you can turn it to the landscape view and you'll be able to see it a little bit bigger on your screen. So I felt the night vision was pretty good. If you get too far away, it drops off and it gets pretty dark, but in the immediate vicinity of the camera, it does a really good job with the infrared to really light up the area. Lock. Lock. So now with the recordings, you have a couple options. You can use the micro SD card that I talked about earlier to store all your video, all the motion detection that it does, or you can store it on the cloud. Now they have some plans. They have a free plan that'll allow you to store some data. I think it's up to one gigabyte, but you could also pay for plans and get more storage. And if you're on the free plan, it does limit you to one camera. So if you wanna get multiple cameras being stored on the cloud, then you're going to need to upgrade your plan. So now this camera, like I just said, does come with motion detection. So if it detects any type of movement within the field of view of the camera, up to about 30 feet, it'll then begin to record. And so it'll record for a predetermined amount of time. It'll go for six seconds, eight seconds, or you could even set it up for a lot more time and it'll record. If there's no motion within that time, it will stop. But if there is motion, then it'll continue recording until there's no motion left. And to go with it, there is a siren on this guy. So if you want the siren to go off anytime there's motion, it will. That's just something you have to go into the settings and set up. So now inside the app, if you wanna take a picture or record at a certain moment, you can go ahead in there and there's a few buttons in there that you can use to control the recording. So anytime you want to record something, you can just press that button and it'll start to record. And one of the last things about the recording and the motion detection is you can have the little security camera send you alerts. So you can have it send you push alerts to your phone or have them send you emails each time there's motion detected on the camera. So what I ended up doing is I ended up taking off the emails and having it send me push notifications because then those push notifications will then go to my watch. So I always kind of have an idea if there's any type of motion outside my door or outside the back portion of my home. If this review was helpful, please hit the like button. And remember, if you wanna learn more about awesome technology and cool gadgets, then hit the subscribe button. And if you wanna support the channel, you can head over to tubetechie.com and pick up some merch, or you can click the link up above. And if you wanna see more of my videos, check out these right here. I appreciate you coming. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.